Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's not date or time specific, so whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, could be your message at that time. Welcome all cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, visiting for the first time, happy to have you join us. Um, I'm going to pull from Cosmic Journey Oracle. These are uplifting messages to support you on your journey. <laughs> This is like the fourth time this card has come out in this series. Um, card 25, so I love the numerology. Two and five is seven. And you get the phoenix rises into joyful abundance. Yes, the phoenix rises into joyful abundance. Um, and before we had, <coughs> we had a little bit of a, we had Pluto and Uranus. We're interacting with each other, so it made sense the last time this card came out that it was um, looking at that energy of, yeah, when when Pluto's in the house and Pluto is right now retrograde, trekking backwards very slowly from Aquarius, will dip back into Capricorn, turn around, head back into Aquarius to stay. So it's been a toggling back and forth, which can be very disorienting disorienting but then the connection to jupiter is sort of letting us know that there's some big breakthrough for the better that will come of it so that's sort of oh, that's sort of the energy i'm drawing from that card so yeah what i'll do is i'll pull the spread give you my general impressions we'll get details from the clarifiers oh my goodness pisces what's happening here okay and remember, the energies can come through reversed, so take it as it resonates for you. Um, your shared energy on this journey so far with your person is um, a little, you know, it's wistful. It could be um, definitely looking back with some regrets or, um, you know, mistakes that might have been made, but it can also be very sorrowful right? We're looking backwards here. What's behind this figure is the two of cups, bolt upright, and the focus is on what has spilled over. And that's important because your present experience of this connection is the three of swords. So maybe there's some focus on some heartache, some longing, some heartbreak, your person's experience here, they're, you know, anticipating something. The three of wands can be a card of manifestation too, but um, it's like the results of that, something that they've already set in motion, arriving. We call this a ship's coming in card. Now for your um, karmic challenge, the Page of Swords, it's almost like um, the be careful what you wish for card or curiosity killed the cat kind of a thing because the Page of Swords is always looking for some assurances. Right There's an energy of um, ferreting out some information kind of, you know, on the sly. And there might be some need for assurances that you're being challenged by. Your person, Six of Pentacles, is their karmic challenge. And that is about investing in a connection with some measure of generosity, reciprocity, the equal give and take of it all. Um, maybe they're just not ready for that, or they could be awaiting the one with which they will forge a beautiful reciprocal bond. So the opportunity here is the three of cups. And to me, that's a cause for celebration, possibly some form of reconciliation, a coming back together. And I'm getting back up from that from divine guidances, the Knight of wands, which feels like a passionate return. So let's jump in. And that could be it. You, there could just be a lot of longing between you, sorrowful longing. So that's causing you heartache. And there, you know, where is my beloved is that three of wands. So let's jump in with the clarifiers. Five of cups, three of wands. Yes. Nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles. I almost feel like you're both really... Um, You've got some anticipation of what's to come. Ten of Pentacles underneath can talk about the future, what you're building. 
Um, it does feel definitely connected to the theme of abundance, but right now it, you're really missing each other. That nine of pentacles is a single person in, a tarot, in the tarot, but she's also someone who's kind of self-sufficient, making her own way through the world, very independent and autonomous. I'm only saying she because it's a feminine figure in the card, but it could actually, since this is focusing on the connection, it could actually be speaking to how you're both moving through the world on parallel tracks at this time, but anticipating what the future holds. So let's see the three of swords. King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, beautiful. I feel you really miss this person. Um, uh, wanting to kind of uh, focus definitely on the future, having this person present, showing up for you in 3D, reconciling any differences, working through any hardships or anything that has um, befallen the connection in a way that's left some um, residual heartache. So it is definitely like there's been something that has come down here between you uh, or has maybe not between you, but that has um, interfered with the smooth flow of this connection. So I'm just gonna put it that way because it may not have been something that happened between you, but as a result of whatever it is, has sort of created this sense of longing and heartache and really wanting to work through things together. So let's see the three of wands for your person. Page of swords, you all have the same cards. Pretty, pretty interesting mirrored energy here. You know, this person is also, um, you know, curious. When, when is my happily ever after going to arrive? Um, this person's been on a very solitary journey, um, definitely focused on themselves for some length of time. Um, I am feeling the connection between these two cards. They're both associated with Virgo. Um, and Virgo can be very much uh, focused on, I mean, it's sixth house themes of personal growth, mind, body, spirit, balance, etc. So a little bit of a focus on their on themselves, but now there's a shift and they've got an eye toward um, what's arriving for them. Page of Swords is your karmic challenge. Wheel of Fortune, Hierophant, Nine of Swords. <sighs> right, what does fate have in store? Um, divine timing and commitment themes around a uh, conventional committed relationship. We have King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, all those energies that speak to eight of pentacles even that speak to how we work through things in real time in 3d i guess it's long day today it's not normally on a friday but oh well um yeah so i do feel like the curiosity here is kind of keeping you up it's uh running on a loop in your mind you're preoccupied with it um you may even be worried to the point where it's doing you a disservice because you can't you can't cheat divine time right you can't speed it up it 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 unfolds um, according to a greater cosmic plan right so I do feel like at some point you've got to give your mind a rest um, that is your karmic challenge there's no way to be sure um, when divine a lot of a lot of private readings um, and by the way I offer them so if you want one there's a link in the description box below but in a lot of private readings the question that I get is when will divine time bring us together and it's like well right divine time happens according to a divine plan so it's not something that we can game out um, your person with the Six of Pentacles, I only say it because it's sweet, because I understand the wanting to know and the need for some certainty, and that is your karmic challenge here. The Six of Pentacles for your person's karmic challenge. Four of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Fool. When will they be ready to take a chance again? This is somebody who has 
experience some disappointment, uh, rejection in matters of the heart. There's a walking away here. Um, so for them, it's a matter of really assessing the risk and finding the one that they want to invest their time in. Um, so their karmic challenge has also something to do with timing, a little bit of a different approach to it though. It's like, when will it feel right to me um, to take that leap of faith? They're not there yet. That's what they're working through. Almost as if this person has gone through something and so it takes time to recover and bounce back from that. So they're not gonna wanna just jump in full bore into another involved long-term connection until they sort out what they've learned about themselves, what they really want from a relationship, what does happily ever after mean to them? What does commitment look like or feel like? Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel there is a little bit of um, a tug of war here energetically because you're kind of like TikTok and this person is like, I'm, I'm just not there. I'm not ready to take a chance. So let's see. The opportunity is the Three of Cups. Ten of Swords, Six of Cups, Knight of Cups. I do feel there is an opportunity here to um, reconcile something that feels like it ended things in a very bad way or created a lot of heartache. We do have the Three of Swords um, for you. We also entered with the Five of Cups. So there could be some regrets about something that pulled you apart and that may have caused a lot of residual pain. I mean, I'm not thinking that the Ten of Swords is happening now, it seems past. That's why we're opening with the Five of Cups. So past life soulmates coming back together, the romance of an all and offer from the heart, a cause for celebration after something that created a, a great deal of heartache and pain. Oof. And I kind of feel like your last reading may have been around past life soulmate energy returning. So let's see what divine guidance says with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is um, the moon here is interesting because it's almost like there could be fears around going back to that sense of um, disappointment, um, let down, grief. Has this really ended? I'm afraid if this person returns that we're going to go through that cycle again. The Knight of Wands can be a little bit of in and out behavior. So I feel like divine guidance is focusing on the energy of the passion, of the return, but also making you aware that there are um, there are risks, but there, there's also a healthy amount of concern um, because something that ended painfully coming back around, you're going to have to deal with your, you know, your triggers around it, insecurities around it, fears around it, fears of getting hurt, fears of being disappointed. Um, yeah. So that's what I have for you. Now, before I jump in to tell you the astrology, if this reading has provided you some guidance, some insight, by all means, subscribe below, click the notification bell so that you don't miss new uploads. Um, like, share if you feel called to do so. And uh, I am going to take this to the extended. I want to look at what's happening really with this person. Um, we know they're showing up with three of wands, which is a beautiful present energy, but what are they processing right now? They're, they've got some curiosity as well. They've been on a solitary journey. So I want to sort of dive into that a little deeper, see how, you know, they're thinking about you right now that, you know, how they see you think about you, feel about you, their intentions toward you in this connection going forward. I want to get a hidden energy card around them. What's going on behind the scenes that you don't know, but might want to, and their message to you. What do they want you to know? So that's what we'll do in the extended. There are links below. Please, I'm gonna keep saying this over and over so it's like a broken record. There are two different ways to get the extended. There is one that says one time 
extended purchase. That is for this reading only. The other one says Pisces monthly. That is a renewal. So when you click it, read what it says so that, you know, because I have some folks that are just blindly clicking a link and then I didn't want a monthly. It says right on it, this renews monthly. So double check that. Okay, so here's the um, astrology for you. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. We have the King of Pentacles, Taurus. Um, Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's out twice. More Virgo in the Hermit. Um, Jupiter in the Wheel of Fortune, which rules Sagittarius. Taurus in the Hierophant. Um, uh, this is Uranus, the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. We have Pisces, of course, in our Knight of Cups. Um, we have love and passion here, by the way. Uh, Sagittarian energy in the Knight of Wands. The Moon card is associated with Pisces and Scorpio in the Death card. So that's what we've got. The links are below to the extended. I'm heading there now. I'll see you in a second. Bye for now.